The People's Progressive Party has taken its criticism of the actions by the government to remove political employees from state payrolls to the level of criminality. Former Attorney General Anil Nandlal at yesterday's press conference in the PPP said that his party is concerned with the violations of the law. I speak of the capricious dismissal of dozens of workers who have families to maintain, mortgages to pay. These workers are simply being dismissed because of their perceived and sometimes real connection with the People's Progressive Party. This has been a constant complaint ever since the PPP lost elections. Nandlal said that the Constitution guarantees protection to anyone holding a political view or an association and the like. These workers are dismissed without any due process. They are either public officers or contract workers. As public officers, they are entitled to due process. As contract workers, they are entitled to certain a certain procedure under their contract. But the government says that it insists on due process. Where necessary, people are paid the benefits due to them. Mr. Nandlal was also disappointed at the decision by the present government to seek to terminate the proposal to construct the specialty hospital. On Wednesday, Minister Joseph Harmon had said that the government was seeking to use the loan to improve the primary health care system. The institution would have been managed by personnel from India and those personnel would have trained Guyanese medical personnel for a number of years and expose our medical personnel to the type of training and sophisticated expertise that are not available in Guyana. He acknowledged that a lot of money has already been spent on the project and that the contractor reneged. According to Mr. Nandlal, judgment was awarded against a contractor, but there is still the problem of collecting that judgment, believed to be in excess of four million U.S. dollars. The work that was done, when it is measured and assessed, far exceeds the value of the money which was paid to this contractor. So the Guyanese people enjoyed a net gain. However, for the hospital to be constructed, there would have to be a renegotiation of the contract and the securing of a new contractor. But the government said that it was prepared to forego medical tourism for improved health services in Guyana. Adam Harris, Prime News.